For more on this story, we can go across to France 24's Benedict Pavio standing by in London. Benedict, good afternoon. Liz Truss said she had the confidence in her finance minister. Clearly, that's now gone. Can she salvage her premiership? Well, that's the big question, and we're going to watch this press conference uh, that's urgently being convened. It's going to be in the next uh, hour or so, um, and it is a Liz Truss five and a half weeks into the job of being Prime Minister, who is under supreme uh, pressure. So um, interesting uh, that Kwasi Kwarteng, who said he wasn't going anywhere, um, has gone, gone from the government. He's no longer Chancellor of the Exchequer, as it's called here, Minister of Finances. He had taken an earlier flight, quit uh, the IMF and also the, the talks uh, with uh, fellow finance ministers in Washington. Uh, extraordinary for a British Minister of Finances to be tracked uh, on a website called Flight Radar as we watched him touch down uh, here at a London airport uh, to be rushed in the back door of 10 Downing Street uh, for, we had been told, urgent talks with his boss, Liz Truss, only to be then told by 10 Downing Street uh, that he had been sacked. Uh, so what will be interesting and important to see is whether Liz Truss appoints a new Minister of Finances before her press conference. If not, she's going to be besieged by questions uh, about this. All of this as, of course, this comes after that first presentation of a budget by the Truss government. Uh, a budget has to be said, Delano, that was carefully planned, not just by the Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng, but in close uh, consultation with his boss, uh, Ms. Truss. And this is where there is huge speculation about her own future, uh, including plots that, for example, her former uh, leadership rival and the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak, perhaps along with another leadership rival, Penny Mordaunt, uh, could replace her, that there is a group of senior Tory MPs uh, who so worried are they by uh, what is happening and unfolding, uh, the battering in the markets of the pound, uh, the interventions in the plural of the Bank of England over the last few weeks affecting, for example, pension funds, real problems uh, that they may ask for the Prime Minister to resign as early as next week. Wow. Uh, we, we will definitely be coming back to you once uh, Prime Minister Liz Truss uh, does uh, speak. Uh, Benedict, thank you very much. It is wow. Well. <laughs> it is wow, well, seriously, to, in the span of such a short time, to think that she was just made uh, Prime Minister, what, on the 6th of September. So uh, we, we'll see how what she has to and say. And Delano, about... yeah, if I ahead. may, what we're going to watch out for, very importantly, is the speculation now is uh, that the government, Liz Truss, could announce a major, another one, U-turn in that so-called mini-budget, the biggest tax-cutting uh, budget in 50 years, it has to be said in that kingdom. Watch out for a possible uh, reverse and change of course, on corporation tax. Uh, of course, that's a levy on company profits. It had been due to rise from 19 to 25% next year until the then Chancellor Kwarteng announced it would remain frozen. Uh, he announced that during his mini budget. But there are now suggestions that the British government may now allow this uh, to rise in what would be another major U turn. It's official uh, that we have uh, Kwasi Kwarteng has announced on Twitter that he uh, has resigned. Uh, we're getting reports from uh, the Times, apparently, a uh, newspaper that's saying Jeremy Hunt, former British Foreign Minister Jeremy Hunt, will be... One of the names. One of the names. It, well, uh, that's one of the names. one of the names that is hotly speculated, of course. Uh, we don't think it'll be Rishi Sunak, the former Chancellor. I don't think he would accept that, having gone for the job of Prime Minister. But let's remember that Liz Truss was not the number one choice of the parliamentary party, in other words, of MPs. She was the second or third choice, in fact. She was elected by the Conservative members. All of that is going to be hotly debated, uh, not right now, but in the future. And I think a lot of rules are going to change about who actually elects uh, the leader of the Conservative Party in the future, how long it takes. We went through seven weeks in the middle of a cost of living crisis um, and 10% inflation, national rail strikes, national postal strikes, uh, looming nurse strikes. Uh, this is um, a vacuum, a political vacuum, um, an instability that no country can afford post-pandemic uh, when there's a war in Ukraine, etc. And, yeah, grappling, uh, rising energy costs, etc. So it's going to be back to the drawing board, whoever gets named as the new finance minister, Benedict. Thank you very much for that, Benedict Pavio reporting there from London.